Spicer with Spicer Green Jewelers in Asheville, North Carolina. And today we're going to be doing our diamond educational video on color. So we're going to talk about what the color grade of a diamond is. And I'm going to show you some examples using our massive inventory here um, to show you some different examples of color. And we're going to compare and contrast some stones. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our diamond video about color. When talking about diamond color, the first thing I want to talk about is diamonds come in every single color of the rainbow naturally. Most diamonds, however, that we see in stores are either slight tints of yellow, slight tints of brown, or slight tints of gray. When we're speaking of diamonds in this slight tinted category, the range widely accepted by almost every diamond retailer globally is the GIA scale. This scale goes from a D being absolutely what we call colorless in our industry to a Z, which is almost a fancy color of whatever tint the diamond is. On diamonds graded by almost any grading house, they never list what the tint is of the diamond from the D to J range. Now this can affect the overall look of the diamond and the price of the diamond dramatically. Another reason why while looking at diamonds, you should look at the diamond as a piece of art and understand what you find most beautiful. Now we're gonna compare and contrast some diamonds to show you the visual difference between the color. Okay guys, so here we have um, the near colorless range, the colorless and near colorless range of diamonds. So these diamonds we actually own and they're in our stock. And I just wanted to show you, this is actually what we call a master set. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is you see these diamonds are actually flipped upside down. This is called table down and the cuet, the pointy part, is up. Now this is actually how we're taught to grade diamonds, the GIA. Um, and it's because you're supposed to look at the overall body color of the stone instead of the face up appearance. And this is actually a really nice side note. If you have a diamond that's extremely well cut, it's actually gonna face up a little bit whiter so you can actually mask mask some of that color if you get a really really well cut diamond anyway so typically that's how you would look at a diamond face up so I'm gonna put this guy down and I'm gonna tell you the range here so this is actually going from D E F G H I J in color so this is D to J now this is what we call colorless in the diamond scale, the D, E, and F. This is the colorless region. Near colorless is actually is actually G, H, I, sometimes J. I include J because if you have a really nice J, it can, it can look like a near, near colorless diamond. Now, when you mount these diamonds, um, it's gonna be very hard to tell with the naked eye that even even with a with a nice J that it, they have they have any warmth to them if there's not a, if there's not a D or an E or a very high high graded color diamond next to it. Now I actually have a cape diamond I want to show you that goes into the middle of the range and we'll talk about that right now. Here is the next diamond in our group. So this is actually an OP. So it's right in the middle of the range and this guy's pretty big. This is actually our six carat. Uh, VVS1, but it's an O slash P, which is actually a split grade that the GIA does after a certain point in the color scale. So this diamond is really interesting because what happens is when we were talking about the near colorless diamonds, like this is the J we were looking at earlier, it actually it, it goes in reverse. So when you're in the near colorless range, the the the, hot, the closer to D is actually the more expensive diamonds. But it, when you're in the middle here, if it was whiter, it would get more expensive, or if it was more yellow, it would get more expensive because it actually turns into what we call a fancy color diamond. So this is a pretty interesting interesting uh, diamond right here. And because of the shade, oh, I dropped it. Here we go, I'm not gonna hurt it. Um, because of the shade, um, it's actually an incredible value. Um, this diamond, this diamond is actually, it's, it's $70,000. It is a lot of money, but it is a lot of diamond. Um, however, if this diamond was in a near colorless or a colorless range with the same clarity, it would be hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, so a lot of people that have really large diamonds opt to get this middle kind of an OP, kind of slightly yellow range because they're able to get a much bigger diamond for their money. All right then guys, well next we have 
something really cool. So this is actually all the way up to a fancy yellow. So this is a two carat fancy yellow radiant cut we have in stock. And I wanted to show you this just to complete our little educational seminar on diamond color. So this guy is really interesting because it's actually a radiant cut. Now this is something, this is the first time we're actually looking at that isn't around on this video. And there's a reason for that. When the diamonds get become fancy colors, it's very difficult for a round brilliant diamond to, to, to keep the color. Typically they're cutting radiants, ovals, they're cutting fancy shapes to try to make the color as much as possible. Also, when you grade these diamonds, you do grade them on their side, but you don't grade them like that. You grade them, any fancy shape diamond when you're grading for color, you actually flip it over and you grade it in the thickest part of the body color of the diamond. So I grade this diamond, I would grade it like this, so I'd be able to see into it. Now, overall we have, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out here and just show you guys what we did today and what we learned about. So, here we have the entire, the entire diamond lineup from D. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and just fix that. So here we have from D all the way down to a J, to the OP, to our fancy yellow. Now we own all of these diamonds here in our stock. We are proud to boast the largest selection of diamonds in the Carolinas. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our diamond educational video on color. Um, the next one that we're gonna be doing on, is on clarity and that is right up here. Um, leave some comments if you would like me to do a video. If there's enough interest, I'll do one on pretty much anything jewelry related. You can always reach me at my email address, which is Elliot, E-L-L-I-O-T-T, -T, at SpicerGreen.com if you'd like a personal consultation. Um, and until next time, have a great one.